I mean, the last tour you've been on has been now for, um, it's got to be at least eight years. At least, never ending tour. But I, I've just been, last month I've just done an acoustic tour, which is really good. Yeah. Something different. And uh, just working on the fourth solo album now. We start off with uh, some reality, serious contender. Yeah. And uh, air conditioning. Which Good, came night. Out, Good night. Which, which came out on a, well, it's about the political inhalation we're breathing, you know. That's what it's about. It's not them air conditioning on the wall. It's just about that. Kind no, of thing. I thought it was all, all well in thing. Um, but it came out on the day the students were writing, which was fantastic, you know. Because it was all about that, you know, when, you, when your antenna's up there, Stockhausen said we're all receptors and the antennas are I thought all this political kind of stuff is all going into this album air conditioning and then when it came out the students went on the right I thought I'm right on the bottom with this you know um, of course I mean it got good reviews but um, some of it was a bit dangerous for the radio sometimes that's the problem with the radio isn't it? What, they, what? they don't like the truth or the reality. No, 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 no. You know, no, no. no. And, and, and reality that's, is a big part of your writing songs. Well, absolutely. I mean, growing up with, uh, you know, like Ray Davis and George Orwell. Mm. And, not in the same uh, house. Not in the same house. Tell them yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, I mean, uh, all that, the, the realism stuff, it, 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 you know, it's very important, really. I mean, you've got your Alice in Wonderland bit, but... When you're born as a working class kid mm. and you see things in the streets, that reality becomes the beautiful art to you, you know. You know, Keats and all these people going on about daffodils, you know, I never saw flowers. But you read all that we stuff. Never, I read all that stuff as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, a big reader. I, 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 yeah, absolutely, because it was like, well, what else can you do in the street? And if they come for you from these places, Oxford and Cambridge and all that, it's like, yeah talk about that as well you know but translate it to the reality of life as well you know um well that was one of the strengths you bought your record and you 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 bought the book to figure things out i'm not air conditioned now but it says uh, about um, and all the books that we went through just to grasp a line mm. told us all about life's clues but we had to make up our own mind you know i mean that spells it all simply, you know, it's like, you read the books, it did enlighten you a bit about how to deal with things, you know. I used to love the sound of words and the, the intellectuality of things, because I, you know, there was never a book in my house, you know, my mum and dad never had a book in their lives. So, you always go the opposite of your parents anyway, and it was like the That's inquisitiveness. Yeah, true, yeah. But I mean, the first thing I heard was like Bob Dylan and, and the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and the Who and all mm. that, so it was all that going on. But at the same time, it's these things called books that might have the answers or things to figure out because right, what was the one what, book what, that I, what I realized people people were taking exams at school but not really conscious of why they're taking them what they're doing them for yeah okay. I was like kind of like I'm reading this because I like it you know and I remember sometimes talking about <clears throat> the poetry of a line which wasn't in those notebooks when you pass your old levels and all that you know what I mean? yeah but I but mean, you as, seem to know as a working class kid, it was all important, just like the like the, the singles and, and and the albums were, and um, so I just got down to doing all that. You know, it was like um, it was passion, it was important, but I, you know, I, 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 you know, the, those words. Are, it was an alien world to me, really. But you sort of, you got into it and you you learn about that. I'm, my brother was doing art and stuff. Yeah, he was. He was so we had an exchange artist. with each other. You know, we had an exchange with each other. He was doing the art. You know, mm. the David Otneys, the uh, Rothkos. You know, the abstract artists and all that. Also, so got, he, he was the guy was, that wanted to burn a million pound in Travis Square yeah. before. No, that was me. Oh, that was uh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he wanted to burn. But I would have got you know because he was doing the well, art, the art do and art and I was doing the words and the ears of the music and the poetry. You know. Now, under Mill Woods, uh, Dylan Thomas is amazing mm. because he's about wandering around at like four o'clock in the morning in the village. I've been town. that place. I've been yeah. that place overlooking so the lake. I, 
all that what kind of stuff. Say? What did he say about And when I read um, that, you know, he got drunk on a tour in America. And, well, I've got a, a child's Christmas, a Christmas time or whatever it's called. Um, and when I put that on when I was 15, it, on the back he said, he was in a local pub around the corner, got totally drunk and read this word for word. That was very glamorous, you know. Yeah. That was like early rock and roll, you know. You know, he's like the key for it. He's like, you know, the Who or something, the Pete Town and getting out and slamming his guitar. That was another thing. He, he got drunk and <laughs> recited this album for the BBC. Amazing things like that. Beauty, adventure and, and, and the art. Because coming from a street where you're impoverished of nothing, you know, you can't even see... When I went to Australia for the first time, I thought, all these things Patrick Moore saw about the stars, I can finally see them. But in our street, you couldn't see anything, you know what I mean? No. So you go internal and sensitive. <laughs> we'll turn it, we'll turn it <laughs> oh, round. Oh, mate, that's what's got the shit. <laughs> Fucking ruin the whole lot of this stuff here, haven't you? I'll tell you the thicker. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, can't I? Uh, how did we ever get friends? I don't know. Through the... Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? God, no! <laughs> Very important! <laughs> Whatever it was, before all that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 